And Arkansas locals and religious leaders also met today to support Ukraine's fight for peace. THV 11's Jade Jackson shows us how they're hoping to help half a world away. At first Presbyterian Church, a candlelight service, and another gathering at St. Mark Episcopal Church. Don't believe that the brave, brilliant resistance of the Ukrainians without support, without help from the West, is going to prevail against Vladimir Putin. General Wesley K. Clark, a former NATO no Supreme Allied Allied Commander and retired four-star general, shared his hope for action to bring peace to Ukraine. I'm in contact with people there every, every hour and I admire their courage, and I want to do everything I can to help, and I'm sure many of you do too, but I know what the odds are. Local religious leaders also meant to pray for safety in the region. Most of us knew precious little about Ukraine, but we're nonetheless concerned as Russia and its autocratic dictator, Vladimir Putin, amassed troops on Ukraine's border. As they plan to take action, organizing relief efforts for Ukraine and reflect on their own ability to help across the globe. This country must take greater risk for freedom. As speakers look to put the impact of conflict on Americans in perspective. And those same sanctions bring economic difficulties to us and to the world. When prices go up, or goods are unavailable because of measures we are taking in support of the Ukrainian people, let us welcome the sacrifice. In Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. And speakers today say the money they collected will go towards the Episcopal Church's Relief and Development Fund. We have more information on how you can participate in those efforts on our website at THV11.com.